Okay, and welcome to 1.3. I'd just like to say I went back and looked at 1.2 and you probably are looking that funny, but I had misspelled that word statistic and uh, I went back and fixed it. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we have our sampling methods, random. And this would be a good time to show you that um, some of the problems that I have with these, but if you sample every 611 social security, that's a systematic. Cause it's every kth person. Okay. Okay, they randomly select 70 buses during a week and survey all passengers on the buses. Okay, so you have to kind of think about this, like pictures sometimes help too. So this would be like bus one, gray line. So all these are bu buses. Now you don't know how many buses they have, but there's a lot of buses. And there's people on each, each of these buses. You know, multiple people. So what we did is, let's just say they have like 10,000 buses and they're picking 70 buses. And then everybody in the bus. So this is a cluster because you got grouped by your location of where the being in the bus and then that whole bus got picked. So that's a cluster. You just have to kind of practice these things. Okay, this one doesn't give us much. They don't tell us how they did it or they use their computer customer. They randomly select 80. They didn't tell us, they didn't do anything. They're just picking 80 of their customers. So that would just be random. Okay, she's gonna divide her day into three parts. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Then she measures her power three random days here, three times here, three times here, and three times here. See how that's different than the bus problem? Because this whole bus could get picked, this bus could get picked, this bus could get picked. You know, certain buses are getting picked. And then everybody on that bus, everybody in here is getting chosen. But on this, um, this would, this equivalent to buses, there would be like three buses where three people in each bus get picked. So this is uh, systematic. So she split her day into three stratas. Strata one, strata two, and strata three, and picked a little bit from each one. Mm. Should be stratified. Oh, I accidentally hit systematic. <laughs> Oops. Okay, sending your observation on the room. Okay, I thought I'd taken this problem out, but. The medical researcher tested for a difference in the blood pressures between males and females, students who are 12 years age, and she ran selected for. Okay, so I know they're measuring the blood pressure but they, did they attempt to do something to these people before they tested the blood pressure? Like, did they give them medicine? Did they make them exercise? Did they do anything to try to change the blood pressure? It looks like they're just testing for a difference without actually doing anything to see if there was a change to the blood pressure. Um, you don't have to worry about this problem for the test, so 
Number five, don't worry about too much. We haven't taken four males and four females in a study. Let's see what they did. Research it. 12 years old. I mean, they're, they're definitely the sample is small, but I don't know if that's the major problem. Definitely not convenience because we don't know how they got these people. Oh, she randomly selected, so it's not convenience. Blinding is when somebody doesn't know what they're getting, so it's not that. So I'm sure it's D. Okay, don't worry about that one for the test. Okay. A simple random sample is when every group of the same size has the ch same chance. So let's see. There's a class has 36 students. There are six rows. So this is row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six. And there's six people in each one. Now a simple random sample, every Every possible group of however many they pick has the same chance. So A, this is not a random sample. It is a random sample. Okay, so let me just define these for you. Random, every person. has the same chance. Simple. Random. Sample. Every group of six has the same chance. Okay, so let's see if every person has the same chance. Let's see if it's a random sample. So what they're going to do is they're going to roll a die. Say a three pops up. If a three pops up, everybody, these, these six people get sampled. That's the third row. Let's just call it one, two, three, four, five, six. I roll a die, three shows up. That's the six that's in my sample. That's your sample. So here's whoever this is. What was his chance of getting picked? He had a one in six chance of getting picked. This person right here had a had a one in six chance. Okay, well what about the second person in this row? Using that he didn't get picked, but what was his chance of getting picked? In this die roll, what was the chance of six popped up here? So his chance was one out of six. Okay, what about the sixth person in this first row? This person didn't get picked, but what was his chance? That's the chance that the die right over here land, would have landed on a one. This person has a one six chance. So everybody, all these people have a one six chance of getting picked. So let's see if it's a random sample. A random sample, a simple random sample, sorry. A simple random sample, let's, let's, I'm just gonna give you another scenario, okay? This is uh, Susie, Johnny, um, Joan, uh, Mike, Jesse, and uh, Julie. Okay, these they're all sitting in the front row, and they're all best friends. These six people sitting in the front row are best friends. Here's the classroom. What's their chance of getting picked? What's the chance these six people or in, all come and they're part of my sample because they're part of the 36. So that's one group of six. That's one group of six. Now remember, we're gonna roll a die. 
If the die lands on a four, if the die lands on a four, these six people. So these people aren't in it. So there's no chance. So that's why it's not an SRS. Oops. Do you want to continue? How about now? Okay, let's look at the second situation. From the same class, 36, written on 36 index cards and shuffled. So now all their names go in here. 36. If you reach your hand in there and pick out six cards or names, any group of six could get picked. So this is an SRS. And it is a random sample. It's a random sample too because everybody still has a... Well, really, everybody has a 1 in 36 shot getting. Like, if you're in there, you have a 1 in 36 shot. Everybody has a 1 in 36 shot. The six youngest. That's not a simple random sample. It's not a random sample. The six youngest is not either. That question was kind of a pain. Okay. To estimate the percentage of defects in manufactured bags, every tenth systematic. Okay, ask its listeners to call in their station regarding the format of the show. So if some that they just did that because it was convenient to them. In the session, rather than session, rather than session, okay. Take your population, divide them up into sections, then randomly text sum. Some here, some here, and some here. This becomes your sample, that's a stratified. Convenient systematic cluster. Okay, I apologize. I, this was wrong. Okay, into sections and randomly select some of those sections. So this would be like one through four in a hat and then you pick like two numbers. So that's the first section, the second section, the third section. I thought it said pick a little bit out of each. So we pick two numbers out of here. Say two gets picked and say number four gets picked. So now, now everybody in this group, oh, not that group. Everybody in this group and everybody in this group gets picked. That's a cluster. Stratified would take a little bit from each. They didn't do that here. You can see that in the word in the question. Randomly selects some of those sections. Not, not a little from each. Okay, this is the stratified. So this, this is the one where they, remember I did hearts and stuff, squares, diamonds, stars, split them up and then take a little from each. Okay, that would be 1.3.